Hey, it's Mike, and today I want to talk about Ripple because this is another crypto coin that's had an incredible move since mid-November. It moved up from 26 all the way up to about 73, gave you that bind opportunity down at like 47, and then it's moved back up to 62. It's almost flat in the last 24 hours, but I do think that this uh, coin is going to give you an opportunity to get in at a better price. You see it's been making lower highs here. I do believe it could get you down, get down between 55 and 58 cents that you'll want to get in. So what's been the main momentum driver? For the crypto coins that includes you know ripple stellar bitcoin just about all of them and i really think it's the specter that next year we're going to have rising interest rates there's been a lot of spending with the shutdown trying to shore up the economy give loans out to businesses to make sure they stay uh, afloat and i think all of that spending is going to lead to higher interest rates and uh and uh, a surge in prices in gold and silver as well as to crypto coins in 2021 in fact i think the majority of stocks will probably be negative in 2021, with the exception of certain innovative companies, certain very selective companies that are doing really well. But if you're looking for um, if you're looking for something, I'll give you some excellent outperformance. You definitely gonna to want to take a look at the crypto coins. Uh, also, take a look at gold and silver, just about any commodity, with the exception possibly of oil. Oil may still have some issues, but um, like I said, wait to get in at a good price because I think you'll definitely get a good price on these coins. Um, and also, don't look at these as short-term trades. I would look at Ripple, Stellar, and Bitcoin as something like a six-month to 12-month trade. Uh, because, like I said, I do think when interest rates start going up, you're going you're gonna to see a lot of volatility in, the, in these uh, coins. That they'll shoot up maybe 15-20% in a day and then drop down 10% the next day and move up 5%. It, you know, it'll be a heck of a roller coaster ride. So, personally, what I'm going to do is I own a little bit of Bitcoin. I'm just going to hold, I, I actually hold on to Bitcoin as a hedge um, against stocks and just as a, you know, inflation hedge, but I may get into Ripple and Stellar just as a speculative play and I'm going to stay into those probably at least 12 months so that at least give me the um, long-term uh, capital gain stacks because that's another issue you want to deal with. And I just don't want to deal with the daily fluctuations of, of these coins because they trade 24 hours a day. I don't want to sit there and try to figure out when I should trade in and trade out of these things. I just hold them knowing that a year from now they'll probably be higher than um, where I could get them at. But as I said again, wait for it to pull back. It's kind of flat right now. I do think it'll come back to the 55 to 58 cent level. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed this um, update on Ripple. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options, stock trading strategies, and occasionally cryptocurrencies. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.